Want to learn how to write a top-notch survey report? Conducting surveys is a great way to gather insight from your target demographic. However, if you don't have the right strategy to analyze and report the information, your collection efforts will be a wash. After you've gone through the steps of publishing and collecting data from an online survey, it's time to analyze the information and format it in a presentable way. This is where we come in. I'm Noel with JotForm. And in today's video, we'll dive into the ins and outs of how to write a top-notch survey report. Let's go. You conduct research because you want to know the answer to a question. Do your customers like your product? Did your customers get the good service from the support team? One way to find out is to conduct a survey. A survey report presents those results objectively, summarizing the responses. Results are typically shown in visually appealing ways by including graphs and charts. It's important to make the report easy to follow. Your report should be interesting, but always focus on its main objective, summarizing the information accurately. Before you begin drafting a survey, first think about what you want to achieve. Then, shape your questions to gather the kind of information that will help you reach those goals. You'll utilize two types of questions, quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative questions yield a numerical response. Some of the most common quantitative questions ask respondents how satisfied they are with a product or service, or how likely they would be to recommend a service to someone else. Respondents then have a scale of numbers to choose from. This numerical data can measure variables, and the results fit easily into graphs and charts. Qualitative questions gather more details from respondents about their experiences and opinions. As an example, if you are an online retailer, you might ask respondents to describe how you could improve their shopping experience. Quantitative results are a little easier to present in a report, but qualitative questions are just as important. You need to analyze and interpret those responses in text to share results effectively. We talked about the basics, and now you're ready to dive into creating your survey report. Here are a few tips and best practices to follow. First, you'll want to start with an introduction. Set the tone by explaining the purpose of your survey. Provide necessary context for the information you're presenting. Next, use those visualization tools. Images and graphs are an effective way to tell a story. Keep your results interesting with different visuals such as pie charts, bar graphs, and other formats. Remember to use the type of visual that best demonstrates the results. Then it's time to focus. Laser in on your key facts. Decide which are the most critical data points you want to share and include those at the beginning of the survey report. Categorizing your results is key. Group similar data together to show relationships. Consider using heading and subheading to break up the information. At the end of your survey report, give the reader an overview of the information. Include takeaways that you can use to make improvements. Last, you'll want to integrate your company branding. Look for ways to infuse your brand in the survey report. At a minimum, make sure you include your logo at the top of the document and a footer with your company's information. And don't forget to select presentation colors that align with your branding guidelines. Creation and presentation are just two parts of a successful survey report. The third important part is how you share it with others. Here are a few options to consider. You could send a URL to a cloud-based report or embed the report on a website. You could download the report to distribute it as a PDF, or print a copy of the report for in-person meetings. Perhaps you'll use a number of these report sharing options to accommodate the varying needs of your audience. If you're still on the fence about creating a survey report from scratch, don't worry. The simplest solution is to use a survey tool with built-in reporting features. You can pair a JotForm survey template with the JotForm report builder to visualize and present data in just a few clicks. Easy as that. JotForm Report Builder makes it beyond simple to convert collected survey data into beautiful visuals and charts. You can use auto-generated reports or have the ability to customize the report layout to match the unique needs of your company. Sharing is done in a matter of seconds and reports are updated automatically whenever new responses are submitted. To make things even more simple, Report Builder allows you to filter the data in many ways. This is a huge help when it comes to analyzing the info you've collected. Remember, 
Even the smallest details can communicate volumes about your organization. So make sure the survey report is professional and concise while sharing accurate information. Let's review. Here are the best practices when it comes to creating a quality survey report. Start with an introduction. Use visuals to tell a story. Focus on your key fact first. Categorize similar results together. Summarize your findings and integrate your company branding. Then, share your reports easily with JotForm survey templates and the JotForm report builder. With that, you're well on your way to creating and sharing top-notch survey reports. Thanks for watching JotForm. I'm Noel, we'll see you next time.